But if I ask y'all what y'all think about Kanye, what y'all think about Ye, what, what's going on with the whole anti-Semitism? They're gonna be like, that brother wicked as hell. Why he biting the hand that feed him? They're gonna speak evil of that brother. But how many of y'all gonna stand up boldly and put y'all life in jeopardy to speak the truth and the word of God? Hey, sis, come, come, come deal with us. I got a question for you. Read that. So, Rob, chapter 15 and verse 13. Read. The Lord hateth all abomination, and they that fear God love it not. So the scripture says what? The Lord hateth all abomination. Nah, brother, God don't hate. The Lord hateth all abomination. He hates the sin, but he loved the sinner. Hateth all abomination, and they that fear God love it not. So the scripture says... God hates all abomination. Right. So if you out here cross-dressing, you out here eating swine, you out here eating crab, shrimp, lobster, clams, oysters, you are an abomination to God. Right. And he don't like that. He actually hates that. So if you love God, you wouldn't be doing things that are abominable. Give me Zephaniah chapter 1. Yes, sir. Because there's a judgment for that. All your sisters thinking y'all going to be good. When Christ comes back, you gonna wish you had some you had, you had an address on. Zephaniah chapter one and verse eight. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children uh -huh. and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. What is a strange apparel to God? When you wearing things that are outside of His commandment. Right. When He told men to put on a put on pants, put pants on, and you out here in a dress as a man. You out here switching like a, oh, like a woman. Or he, he tells a, a, a woman, put on a modest apparel, put on a modest dress, a skirt down to your ankles, cover yourself up. But you don't want to dress like that. You want to dress like these ratchet hoes. Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Beyonce. Those are your idols. Come on, bro, you got some questions? Come deal with us. Read that again. What you got? Definitely. Read that. Revelations chapter 21 and verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and war whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. So the scripture says the abominable, the liars, the whoremongers, they're going to have their place in that hellfire. That's right. In that hellfire, when the nukes come, that's where you're going to find yourself. Because you didn't fear God. Go right. to uh, Proverbs chapter 1. Go to Proverbs chapter 1. Yes, sir. Because I see, I see what's going on out here. The word of God is coming out strong, and the people just walking to and fro. They don't care. Wake them up. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 22. How long, ye simple ones? Well, you love simplicity. Start at verse 20. Verse 20. Wisdom cries without. That's what's going on right now. Wisdom from the word of God is crying without. Outside here. She uttered her voice in the streets. We out in the streets. We're not locked up in, uh, uh, in, a, in a church somewhere. We're not telling you to come find us. Right. We coming to the people. We out here on the streets. Right. Read. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. This is a chief place of concourse. You see all these businesses. You see people walking back and forth. You got the bus station here. This is a chief place of concourse. And that's where wisdom is crying itself out. Read. And the openings of their gates. Uh huh. In the cities, she uttereth her words. What saying, does she say? How long, ye simple ones? Ye simple ones. Y'all foolish out here. Read. Will ye love simplicity? How long will y'all love this simple life? Live in decay. Y'all sleep right next to doo doo. This is your community. This is how y'all live. Right. Almost 3,000 murders in this city in one year. 
Do y'all hate yourself this much? Wake him up. The hail of gunfire erupting on city streets too often claiming lives. This year alone, more than 1,400 people have been shot, according to the city controller. Philadelphia is not alone in seeing a rise in crime. Much of the country has seen significant increases in murders since the start of the pandemic, with the majority killed by guns. But the numbers in Philly stand out. New York and L.A. have had 261 and 234 murders so far in 2022, respectively. In Philly, a city about a quarter of the size of each, 338 have been murdered. Mayor Jim Kenney addressed the violence at an event Thursday. Uh, we're doing a lot, but it's not enough. Read! And the scorners delight, and they're scorning. Hey, all y'all want to do is scorn. Y'all want to come against the prophets of God. Right. Y'all want to make fun of all y'all brothers in the purple. Y'all want to laugh and joke. Let's see what's going to happen to y'all when your calamity comes. Read. And the fools hate knowledge. Y'all hate knowledge. Right. Y'all hate the word of God. Read on. Turn you at my reproof. That's what we're saying. Turn at the reproof of God. Keep his commandments, his Sabbath day. Y'all sisters always complaining about y'all can't find a good man. Because y'all wicked women. Right. Y'all don't want to keep God's commandments. How you going to find a good God-fearing man when you evil as hell? How you going to find a good woman when you are unfaithful, whoremongering brother? Read. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. What did God say? I will he pour said, out my spirit unto you. When you turn at his reproof, he going to pour that Holy Spirit upon you. That's how you get the Holy Spirit. When you turn and keep God's commandments. That's right. Read on. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refuse. God calling right now on this day. God calling y'all. But y'all gonna refuse. Because y'all disobedient, hard headed, stubborn Negroes. Read. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. We stretching out our hand. We out here right now in this cold trying to teach y'all the word of God. Trying to show y'all how special you are. Sister, how special you are. Hispanics, blacks, Native American, the children of God. Right. But y'all don't give a damn. Read. But ye have said it not all by counsel. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. All of God's counsel trying to get you right. Show you how to set your life in order. Show you how to raise your kids. Show you how to stand up with dignity. Right. Y'all joking and smiling and laughing. Right. For what? Look at the way you live. Read on. And with none of my reproof. Read. I will, all, I will also laugh at your calamity. Wait till your life starts falling apart. Right. Wait till your cousin is killed. Wait till you lose a son. God said he going to laugh at your calamity. He going to laugh when destruction cometh your way. Right. When you got to go to the doctor because you got pain in your body and there's no cure. Right. When you sleeping around and you get an STD, God said he going to laugh at your calamity. Read on. I will mock when your fear is come. They're not going to read this in church. They want you to bring your money to them. But we're going to come out here and stand boldly and tell you to thus say it the Lord. Right. This is what's in the Bible. It ain't sweet songs. Right. It ain't happy-go-lucky time. Right. Read that again. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. We. When your fear cometh as a desolation. As desolation. When fear comes upon you. When you about to fade 15 or 20 in li to life. When you diagnosed with cancer. Right. God said he going to laugh at your calamity. Because sisters, y'all just want to turn your head at the word of God. Y'all want to look down upon the black man. The men that want to stand up and take back their community. Read. When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. God said he's not going to answer. That day when you drop on your knees, and you put your hands together, and you begging God for mercy to have some grace upon you, to show you some compassion. Right. He said he not going to hear your prayer. Because right. every single time he called your name, you disobeyed. Right. You didn't want to answer. 
We are not the Christian church. We are not your pastors. We are going to come out boldly and tell you what God says. That's right. Give me Hosea chapter 5. Philadelphia. City of brotherly love. God hate each other in this city. Right. Read. Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place. Till they acknowledge their offense. Till they do what? Till they acknowledge their offense. Where will you acknowledge your offense, black man? Right. When are you going to do by right by that sister that you've been sleeping with? Right. When will you make her a mother? Right. When will you make her a wife? Right. That's all y'all want to do. Take your little penis and stick it everywhere. Bring it out. Destroying our sisters. Sisters want to be masculine. Y'all want to be men now. Wake them up. Wait till you get treated like a man and dogged out. Read that again. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. God says seek his face. That's all he wants. That's all God wants. That's all he's ever wanted. Right. He don't want your money. Right. He don't want your tithes. Right. He wants you to seek his face. Right. How do you seek God's face? Yeah. Give me Isaiah chapter 34. How do you see God's face? Where do you go to to see God's face? That's what we're talking about, sisters. You want to get your life right. You want your, you want your baby daddy to make you a wife, right. to take care of your kids. Right. That's what we're teaching. How sisters get their life right. This ain't the Christian church. They're not going to tell you this. They want you to come, sing, laugh, take your money. The pastor probably want to sleep with you. But we're going to tell you the correction of God. Right. Read. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16 Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read So the Most High said I want you to seek my face Then the scripture said do what? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord This is the book of the Lord right here That same Bible that been sitting in that cabinet Collecting dust Sister you hear me? Bring it out This is the book of the Lord Wake him up This is the face of God he wants you to seek his face. Read. And read. No one of and these. What? And read. No what? Read. No one of these oh, no, shall no, fail. No, 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 no. Read it again. Read it again. Read it again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Read. And read. You know black people don't read. And read. Right. You sure I got to read? And read. Bring it out. The book of the Lord says, God says, seek ye out of my book and read. Just read. Wake them up. How long you gonna be foolish and simple? Y'all believe every tale out here. I bet if I ask y'all what y'all think about Kanye, what y'all think about Ye, what, what's going on with the whole anti-Semitism? They're gonna be like, that brother wicked as hell. Why he biting the hand that feed him? They're gonna speak evil of that brother. But how many of y'all gonna stand up boldly and put y'all life in jeopardy to speak the truth and the word of God? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. And even if they did figure out a way, I'm still not backing down from what I said. It's Jewish people that did bad business. I'm Semite, so I can't be anti-Semitic. They stole our history from us. Read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. No one of these shall fail. None of the curses in this Bible will fail. Neither will the promises. Everything's going to come to pass. Right. That tribulation is coming. Right. That famine is coming. Right. The same way the pestilence came, it's going to come back again. Right. Many people died of COVID. Many more will die in the famine. Right. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is